In today's video, I'm going to show you or finish showing you how to set up Pinboard on your WordPress website. Pinboard is a really cool free WordPress theme. It's regularly updated. It's got a lot of really cool premium features and current documentation is still being written for it. So uh, you can get great support for this theme as well. So let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. Okay, this is my second video on Pinboard. What I've discovered about Pinboard is that it doesn't seem to play nicely with a static home page. So I've gone ahead and made my static home page into a non-static home page. I want my main page to display my blog posts. So I did that by going to settings. I'm gonna undo what I did in a previous video. Then I'll go to reading. And then I'm gonna click your latest posts here instead of a static page. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because with Pinboard, what happens is if you have a static homepage set like we do here, you'll have your nice slider here on the front page. And then when you click on blog, you'll still have this slider here and your most recent posts will be stuck to the top because in order to get the slider to work, you have to use sticky posts. So I don't like this slider duplicated on different pages. I like it to be on my home page, and then I want my blog to uh, look like this, just with this bar and then all my blog stuff down below. But not having the slider replicated as well as the top three posts sticky on my blog all the time. So I've just changed it to have to have the home page display my most recent post. So the reason I like to use a static home page is because I like to have some static content on the front page that tells people about my site. Uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and made the static content appear in widgets. These are text widgets here in the sidebar. And I had no sidebar before. So now I have a sidebar and I have text widgets with static content. And I also have some static content down here in the widgets in my footer. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set this up. Go back to your dashboard, scroll down to appearance, and then theme options. Once we're here, we're going to go up to layout on the top. We're going to click layout, and we're going to choose an option with a sidebar. I want the sidebar on the right. You may want it on the left. You may want your sidebar to take up half the page. There are different layouts here, so check those out. Again, as I explained in the last video, I want my content to be in four, um, four spaces across the bottom. Now, the sidebar counts for one of those columns, so I'm actually only going to have three left uh, in my layout, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, let me actually show you right now. Go back to the site, and you see that I have my sidebar. That's one column, and then two, three, four. Those are my latest blog posts. This is the latest blog post, and then these are the next ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding these text widgets into our sidebar. We'll go back to the dashboard. We will go to Appearance, and then Widgets. And then we are going to put our, our text widgets in sidebar top. You could put them in sidebar left or sidebar right, but the problem with these is that those are double column sidebars, and I just want a single column sidebar like I have on the site right now. So I'm gonna put my content in the sidebar top. And what I did was I dragged over this text widget right here. And I just dragged this right over into my sidebar. And then I go into my sidebar, I give it a title, and then I put what I want in the sidebar. You can also add links and other HTML in this text. Okay, so how do you add an HTML link? I'll show you. I want to make this text here, my boring channel, into a link. So I'm going to put my code here, and now I have this. Okay, so to make a link, this is how you do it. You have to have an opening tag, and then you have to have your words. That's going to show up as the link, and then you have to have your closing tag. Okay, your opening tag should look like this. A space href equals quotation marks, and then your link, and then ending quotation marks, and then this little guy, can't remember what it's called. So there's your opening tag, and then your link itself, and your closing tag. 
So that'll become a link. And then if you want to bold your text, this is how you do it. A beginning tag, strong, and an end tag, strong. And then this will be bold. Okay, so let's go back to the site and we'll see. I've made my link here. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna to go to my site and see what it looks like. And now in my sidebar, my boring channel has been turned into a link. Now if I click it, it'll take me to my YouTube channel and that's what I wanted to have happen. So if I go back to my widgets, you can see that I've done this text widget here and then another text widget here with another link in it. And then in my footer, I've done some more widgets. So I scrolled down to footer here and I've added my blog subscription widget in there, uh, another text widget, and my recent posts widget. This is my blog subscriptions and it's powered by Jetpack. Jetpack is a really cool add-on or plug-in. If you haven't installed it yet, you, sh you should. Uh, some people complain it hurts your site's load times, but it's got so much functionality, I think it's worth it. So now what we have is the site. And the site has my, my header image, which I haven't showed you how to make yet. It's got my slider. And it shows my latest posts. This is my very latest post. And then here are other posts. And then my footer. Here's my subscription widget. Here's my text widget. And here's my recent posts. So now, how do I get my blog posts to show up differently like this? Here's one with a video in it. Here's one with an image in it. Here's one with nothing in it. How, how am I getting that to happen? Let's go back to our dashboard and I'll show you how. So let's go to posts. And here are my posts. Now, when I'm creating a post, Let's just go ahead and edit this one here. I'm gonna click on edit right under the post here. When you're creating a post, you have the option to choose a format. A standard format with a featured image set will show that blog post with the featured image above it. So let me go back to my site and show you what I mean. So here is that blog post, making a custom header in WordPress. It shows the featured image and then a little excerpt of the blog post. What about this one, a static homepage in WordPress? Let's go back and look. Click on posts and a static homepage in WordPress is this one. We'll click edit. And I have this set as a standard format as well, but I have not set a featured image. So it appears as just text down here. And the reason this theme is called Pinboard is because each of these blog posts is pinned to the board. Okay, what about uh, the video one here? How did I do that? Install WordPress and set up email with cPanel. See, I can actually play my video right there. In this next video, not that I'd ever want to do that, but how did I do it? Okay, so we'll go back to posts and we'll scroll down until we find that post. Here it is. Install WordPress and set up email with cPanel. I'll go ahead and click edit. And then you see that for format, I chose video. And I also have a video embedded here in my post. And I showed you how to embed videos in a different video. Uh, I think it's video number 10 in my series. Go back and check it out. So that's how I achieved this look. With the video on top and then the excerpt of my post. Okay, so how do I control how many posts show up here? That's easy. Go back to your dashboard, and then go to settings, and then go to reading. In the reading settings, you can set the number of blog posts that show on your blog page. I have it set to 10, and I think that's WordPress's default. So, back on my site here, I will have my first blog post here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, when I get three more posts, and 10. So it'll look good. Okay, so let's look at our pages here. Let's look at the Contact Me page. Now by default, there's a huge comment box down here. I don't want people commenting on my contact page, so how did I get rid of the contact form down here? I'm gonna edit this page and show you. Now you may need to click on Screen Options here and make sure that Discussion is checked. And if it is, then you will see down here 
the discussion box under your post or under your page. I have allow comments unchecked and then I updated. That's how I got this page to have no comment box. And I have my about us page set up the same way. Now if I want my about us page to maybe not have a sidebar or to look different, I can go into edit page and I can change the template right here. I could choose the landing page template for instance, click update, go back to the site and now you see I have a, the slider here which I don't want and no sidebar because the landing page template doesn't have a sidebar. So play with the templates and see what they do. I want this to just be this, the default template. The last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to make a header image. So let's go back to the dashboard, click on appearance and then themes over here on the left, and you'll see pinboard here set as our default theme, and I'm going to click on header over here. Now I want to make a header image. It tells me that the suggested width is 392 by 96 pixels. Okay, so this suggested width is if you have under theme options the um, uploaded header images are HI DPI images for retina displays. If you have this box checked then your image size should be 392 by 96. If you don't have that box checked um, your image size will be half this. It's a way to make header images look really good on an iPhone. Okay so here's the image that I created and I used Picasa to do it. Unfortunately I'm not going to get into how I made this in this tutorial but I will say that the background color is not white. If you're looking for your color in your image editing program when you're making your uh, header the background color is F8, F8, F8. Or if you're using RGB, it's 248, 248, 248. Uh, it's not white. So when you create your text or whatever your image is, make sure your background is matches this color for uh, the pinboard theme. And then you're going to browse to the file you made, wherever that is. And then you're going to click open. And then you will upload it, clicking the upload button here. And then you have that image set and then you click save changes. When you go back to your site your new header image will be right here. Okay I have to show you a couple more things. I changed the background to this uh, cork board. How did I do it? I, I hovered over this at the top and then I went to customize. I went to background image and then I clicked on this little arrow right here and then I selected a file from my computer that I found on Google and I uploaded it then I clicked save and then I clicked close and that's what I got one last thing here I keep saying it's the last thing but this really is pinboard allows you to change your typography anywhere on the theme which is really nice you don't usually get that in a free theme so how do how do you change the typography well you go back to your dashboard you go to appearance and then you go to theme options and then up here at the top you click on typography now when I made my um, links in my sidebar, I thought the text was too light. I thought the, the widget text was too light. So I went to widget links and I changed it a little bit. And I went to sidebar widgets color. This is the color of the text. And I made it a lot darker because it was just a light gray before and it was hard to read. And so you can see anywhere on the site you can change the color of your links, of your text, whatever. And you can also change the size of different things on your site here and you can also change the font that's really nice when you're done doing that click save settings if you've really screwed everything up click reset defaults pinboard is a darn cool free theme with a lot of premium features you don't usually get this in a free theme you just don't the ability to change all the typography the nice slider uh, all the different templates and different options for saving your things. This is a really nice theme for free and it looks really sweet. So check it out and have fun with it. Another nice thing about it is that the people who made the theme, they're called OneDesigns.com and you can go to this URL right up here to get to the forum right here 
And if you go to that URL, you'll come to this form and there's all kinds of support topics in here. And you can also sign up for an account and post your own support questions. Also, if you click on tutorials up here, they are working on pinboard tutorials. So here's the second one they've done, which is customizing the content area. And here's the first one they've done, which is customizing the header. And they're gonna be creating more of these tutorials because a lot of people in the forums have been saying, support documentation is thin. And so the people at One Designs have listened and they are now creating these really cool tutorials on Pinboard. Thanks for watching today's video. As you can see, Pinboard has a lot of strengths and a few weaknesses. The, the key one being that I don't think it plays real nicely with a static home page. Um, but other than that, Pinboard is a really cool theme. A little bit complex and there's a lot that I didn't show you, but hopefully I showed you enough to get you started using it. In the next video, I'm thinking about showing you how to make WordPress into an e-commerce website. So you can have a shopping cart and you can sell items right on your WordPress website. It's really easy and with the amount of knowledge you already have from watching my series, um, it's going to be a breeze setting up an e-commerce website with WordPress. Thanks for watching today and please subscribe to my channel.